The St. George Area Chamber of Commerce held its annual legislative wrap-up event following Utah's 45-day session. Lawmakers from southern Utah were invited to share their accomplishments with business leaders and others who attended the luncheon. We have tracked over 60 bills this legislative session, um, and that's just a small fraction of all that were introduced. We had many more that we were keeping tabs on because we knew that they could potentially impact businesses. Lawmakers were asked to share the bills that impacted Southern Utah the most this past session. One of them was the Colorado River uh, Authority bill because we wanted to send a very strong message to the other states around us that we take our uh, water rights in the Colorado River very seriously. The, uh, the bill with the Lake Powell Pipeline, and thinking about this district and this area, that one and probably the Dixie issue, uh, they're the two biggest issues facing you know this particular area. Despite meeting under trying conditions, lawmakers said they also had to be cautious with the budget. We did have a surplus. In your mind, is that surplus something that's constant? Is it a result of the influx of the, the COVID money that we've gotten? And then the second part of this question, we've got another round of billions of dollars coming down from the federal government. What should we do with that money? Cuts that we had taken, it turns out we didn't really need to take all those cuts. So when you hear about the surplus that we had this year, the reason we had a surplus was because we cut so much the year before, and as it turns out, we didn't need to. The CARES Act money that was sent out to individuals, they figure was about a $12 billion boost to our economy, and it showed up in the revenues that we got. We pulled some of the ongoing revenues back and made them one time because we don't believe that that's sustainable and we want to make sure that we don't fall off a cliff if we do we have a parachute. It was difficult at times trying to not put in play everything that happened during the pandemic but try to look at it through a lens of how do we do this the next time around whether it's next year five years a hundred years you know and dealing with you know that the current statute went back to 1953, so it was obviously we need to make some change. But I'll just say I'm nervous. I, we think of it as, um, some people think of it as we're awash in all this free money, but it's not free money. We, we are the federal taxpayers. Um, and there's two gigantic problems with all this money. One is the federal debt and deficit two separate things, but gigantic problem. And the other is inflation. Some of the money was used for pay raises, bonuses, tax cuts, and including preserving constitutional rights. In my constituency, the number one bill was reducing tax on Social Security. The number two bill was constitutional carry. And those were really challenging to get through, but we had a lot of support in the Senate to make sure, and, and, and the colleagues here to make sure that get done. So I actually had a great year. We, this year, uh, did a tax cut worth $100 million, and part of that's directly related to the work that Walt and some other folks have done. We also, and this is what I want to talk about, did something for education. Washington County's, who's the single largest employer in Washington County? Washington County uh, Education Board, uh, our teachers. We passed a 6% increase across the board, WPU for education that affects uh, our families here in Washington County. In addition, we appropriated $1.2 million, I believe is the figure, to pay teachers bonuses for those that, that uh, taught in the classroom. Lawmakers were also asked to describe this year's experience in one word due to the COVID pandemic. Intense. Unusual. I thought it was more effective. Amazing. Innovative. Tiring. <laughs> the legislators were all recognized at the end for their contributions with a first time community and economic prosperity award from the chamber. We are presenting each with the community and economic prosperity award from the Chamber of Commerce. So. Yes. Lawmakers said despite the pandemic, they are confident for growth in the coming year. In St. George, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.